On what appears to be the one dry day of the year, it's a pleasure to get out on any bike, let alone one as competent as Kawasaki Z1000SX. The howling, westerly wind has dried the roads and pushed the temperature up into almost double figures, and on board the comfortable and versatile 2016SX I'm reacquainting myself with the concept of having fun, rather than simply surviving, on two wheels. The now old SX is a great bike and a serial winner of MCN group tests. I ran one as a long-term test bike in 2015, covering close to 20,000 pleasurable miles. As the miles slip by I ask myself why, other than to meet Euro 4 regs, would you want to change it? Ahead of me is Nevesi on the freshly minted 2017 SX. The engines in both bikes are near as damn it identical, with power and torque the same. Manufacturers claimed weights for some new bikes are up this year and my bike might even have a slight advantage as the old model is 4 kilos lighter. So, on paper at least, they haven't changed it too much. But as I pull alongside Michael, I glance over and feel a little envious. The styling mods to the 2017 bike are subtle but make a real difference, especially the aggressive face of the new bike, which makes it look like it belongs in the newly extended Z family. The indicators are now flush, there are new LED headlights, the pillion seat and grab rails have all been redesigned every time I grab a glimpse I notice something excitingly new or different. Time for my go. Verdict minor changes have made a significant difference, and thankfully Kawasaki haven't tried to fix what wasn't broken by commissioning a root and branch overhaul. The older Z1000SX remains an excellent sports tourer, while the new machine simply reflects the changes requested by Z1000SX owners. Given that the engines produce the same power and torque, the older bike managed marginally better fuel consumption in our test. A larger aftermarket screen and a convire seat will bring the 2016 bike close to the new one. However, it still won't have the excellent new electronics package, sleeker design and informative clocks. The SX still comes in at under £10,000, which makes it even more tempting for a trade-up, and should have the competition very worried. The SX just got better.